welcome to Marcella's Purse. Today I am showing you how I made this uh, simple clutch bag with the handle here to put your hand through. It has a zipper on the top, just like that, and uh, another zipper for an outside pocket. And it's very easy to make and I hope you enjoy it. I have my materials here. I have the main fabric, a piece for the back, and the two pieces for the front. And I have already used to uh, apply the interfacing or a stabilizer. And I used first I put a layer of firm interfacing in the whole piece of the side, the size of the piece of fabric, and then I applied some fusible fleece just um, a little bit shorter than the size of the fabric piece uh, a quarter of an inch which is the seam allowance just uh, shorter on all sides I am putting a link in the comments about the interfacings that you can use and um, this was my favorite today Right, um, we're going to start assembling the bag with the, by the front. So we will need here, we'll have the two pieces for the front, the bigger piece at the bottom, then one of the zippers that, as you see, is longer than the width of the bag. Then we'll place that, and then this other zipper will go on the top. Right, I also have here the pieces of lining fabric. I have two pieces of the same size, which will be the inside of the bag itself. And I have two pieces for the front. We are going to use them in the following way. We are going to first attach, please pay attention to this one, we are going to take the zipper that will go between the two pieces of fabric and we need to attach it to the main, uh, sorry, the, the bigger piece of the lining for the front. Remember we have two different sizes and we're using the bigger one. And the zipper will go like that on top of that and the smaller piece of the front will go on top of the zipper so we will sandwich the zipper with the bigger piece of the lining for the front and the smaller piece of the front right so I am just going to start pinning there if you have a fabric with a motif like mine, make sure that you don't put it upside down. So this is the way I want mine to go. And very quickly, we will make sure that the edges of both fabrics align. And my first pin will go here. So I'm, I'm matching this edge with the edge of the lining and the same at the top. At the top we have to align the lining fabric, the zipper and the main fabric. Now that I have pinned um, the pieces together, I shall go to the sewing machine and I will be using the zipper foot. And as, as usual, I will just stitch, start stitching here, secure the stitching going forwards and backwards until I come to the end and this will become one piece. Okay, here is my my two pieces attached together and I'm just going to put a, a couple of pins there and just, just to keep it out of the way while I continue to work on, on this piece. 
The next thing is to attach the other pieces of the uh, outside of the uh, bag. So if I just leave it there, there it is. We have the second piece of lining, the, the smaller piece, and in the same way we're going to attach the zipper. So I'm going to take this piece, turn it around like this, and in the same way we're going to sandwich the zipper between the lining fabric and the main fabric. So you have to make sure that all the pieces match, all the edges are, are right. So that there we start there, and again making sure that I don't, I'm not holding the fabric upside down. There, and the process will be the same. We will go back to the sewing machine and attach so all this big sandwich. So we will have one very big piece to work with later on. So everything pin and everything matches and uh, once I have attached these pieces as I did before, oop, I turn it around and there. Once I attach it as I did before, I will open everything up and I am going to do a stitching with a matching thread. I'm going to stitch top stitch there just very close to the edge just because I like to add that extra detail. So of course I just want to show you something. You see I have uh, the two lining pieces here at the back and this is the the top part of the front. So to do the top stitching I just want to make sure that I have moved my, my lining out of the way. I don't want to sew it to the main bit by mistake. So I'm just going to be using two pins here just so it's not on the way and um, I shall do the top stitching along there quite close to the edge making sure that I catch that bit there at the back and then I shall move the lining of the lower bit out of the way and I will do the same here. Okay, so that's my next thing. I finish sewing and I'll show you what it looks like. I have the top stitch there. So the main thing is to remember every time you're going to do that the stitching is to move the lining fabric towards the back. So this is going to happen when we open the back we will have the line in there. So now the next thing to do is to attach the zipper to the top of the bag and I am going to take one of the pieces of fabric for the lining and we will repeat the process uh, we did with the other zipper. So that's the lining fabric facing up the zipper on top facing up and the main fabric facing down. That's the top of my bag and I shall put in place and I will attach that zipper to the top between the lining and the main fabric. Okay here's the zipper at the top. Just remember to be careful so you actually attach the zipper, the top zipper with the pull on the same side as the other zipper. You don't want to uh, put them on the opposite side. So that's my zipper there and now I will take the other piece of the lining. I will turn the bag around. Oh, I would suggest to pin everything in place again. So just secure with, the, with your pins just to keep the fabric out of the way. You don't want to catch it as you're sewing. And um, so that's the main fabric again. 
I mean, sorry, the lining fabric there. The zipper with the teeth uh, facing up, sorry, this way, like so. We're making sure that everything is lining in the right way. All the edges are meeting. And the main fabric on top, facing down, making sure it's not upside down either. And once again, we will attach this zipper. That's my top zip. And when we open, we will see this inside. Again, I shall do this um, top stitch, as I did before. Oop. And you see it's necessary because I'm trying to close the zipper here and I keep catching the fabric. So I'm going to open this at the back and I shall pin away from the zipper, from the zipper opening and do the top stitching. It is important to keep all the layers out of the way and you will see why in, in a moment. And here is the top stitching. As you see, the pins help me keep the lining out of the way. Right, now uh, I'm just going to trim the excess of the zippers. Just cut it there and here. And I am going to open the zippers there. Actually, this one doesn't need to be open, but this one does. And we're just going to sew everything to give the bag a shape. Now, don't... Um, close uh, the zipper to the end, don't, don't slide it because uh, the pulley might come out. I'm just going to put the safety pin there just to prevent that from happening. Okay, this is going to look like eventually. <clears throat> and I have now the, the strap here for the handle. So as we have done before, it's the length of fabric, which I also put um, some lining in it, some of the firm interfacing. Depending on the fabric, you might find it not necessary, but today I wanted to do it. So I folded it in half and I ironed, and then each half towards the middle point, like so, and then folding in half again. And again, as customary, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, I shall stitch along here and along there. Here's my strap, you see? Just stitch quite close to the edge on both sides. I didn't do these uh, short ends because they will be sewn to, to the bag itself. Now here's the, the bag, it's going to look like this. So if I open the main fabric like this, I would suggest you to, if you turn it around, these two pieces of fabrics are the lining for the bag itself. And these other two pieces of lining fabric are for the outside pocket. So I suggest you to pin them out of the way together like so. So and you work with them as if it were just one piece of fabric. Because we need to sew together the back of the bag with the front, right sides together like so. So um, I have here the main, the, I shall pin those pieces there for the line anyway. And I'm holding the right side of the bag, and I'm pushing the the teeth of the bag, of the sorry, the zipper down there, and I'm matching the fabric. There are the two pieces. I shall put the pin here, and I will do the same at the other side. The zipper is open here because we will need to turn the bag inside out. Putting the teeth facing down and pinning the side in place. Now if I turn it over, we have the strap here, and I'm folding it in half, and decide at what side of the bag you want the strap. I want it on the same side as the opening of the zippers. So, will be 
there. So the zipper pulls are on this side of the bag. So I'm folding it in half, like so. And I'm going to push it into that gap there, near the zipper. There. I'm making it match the ends, leaving just a little bit out here, there. And I'm, I'm going to sew everything. It's very stiff. There. So what I'm going to do, I am going to make sure that my lining pieces are of the same size as the main fabric, yeah, you see, they all match. And I shall pin the lining there as well, making all sides meet. And we're going to sew, I am going to start sewing here. I shall sew all the way down, all the way down, here, here, and I'll carefully sew over the zipper, careful that I don't damage uh, the, the needle on my sewing machine. And I continue sewing, sewing here, and I will stop at the, around, around there. I shall, and then I shall leave a gap so I can put my hand through and turn the bag inside out. And then I will continue sewing, coming back this way. So. So all the way around, leaving a gap here. And be careful here where you have the straps, you don't damage the needle because there are quite a few layers of fabric. Okay, all sewn with the opening at the, at the bottom. I can remove all the pins that I have placed. I'm just going to trim the corners here. and these corners as well and through the gap I shall put my hand Oop, I have lots of threads to trim and um, just find the gap here and putting it through the zipper that's why it is important that um, we leave the zipper open Mind you, the gap is not very big, so I'm, with my fingers I'm just opening it. Oh, there it is. And very gently turn it inside out. I am just uh, putting my hand through the gap again and um, put, pushing all the corners out. and the corners here by the zipper there and the other one there and the last thing to do is to close this gap uh, I normally just fold the edge towards the inside like so and a so machine saw top stitch there to close it or if you prefer you can hand the stitch so everything will go inside and we can just now close our bag and presto all I will do now is to iron it again there's the handle we have the pocket and we have a pretty summary clutch bag and all we have to do now is put on a pretty dress and go out somewhere to enjoy this beautiful accessory we just created i hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial as you see very simple to make just keep in mind uh, 
look, be carefully uh, with all the pieces of fabric that you have, especially the lining, so you don't get confused because it's easy to do. And I hope you have enjoyed it, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you for being here, and I hope you subscribe and visit my uh, website and uh, Facebook page as well. Cheerio! Thank you! Bye!